Okay. My name is Bo Yapka, and this is Project One for Game Artificial Intelligence. Today, I'm going to be using Unity. Um, we're going to go over Nav Mesh, um, which is basically a, um, it's a way for the uh, a Nav Mesh agent to navigate its way around um, on a pre known service. Um, so, uh, of course, uh, I did everything already, and I'm just going to uh, go over everything as I would if I was do, uh, you know, doing it already. And first, of course, got a main camera, and we got some world geometry. Now, the world geometry I turn on by using that, and as you can see, we have three platforms, one in the center, one a little higher above, and one on the bottom underneath here. Um, and I'm going to use this uh, little map here to uh, demonstrate how this works. Um, so, um, of course, uh, we're going to need um, a couple of objects, player, and we're going to need an enemy, of course, the enemy to chase the player. Um, now, uh, what's most important in the world geometry, you have to make sure you're static. You have, that must be static everything, including your children. And if it's not static, it will not bake and it will not work. Uh, so now we have everything here. We open up a navigation tab, which I have open already, but you can pull it up just by going through here, opening it up like this. Um, and, uh, oh, I'm sorry, window. Anyway. All right, well, um, hit the bake button. And everything here is baked. As you can see, everything turned uh, different colors, and that tells us that it did work. Um, when you click off of it, of course, it will leave. You will not have navigation. It won't show navigation anymore. Um, now, uh, going back to the player, as you can see, enemy and player. Um, the player has a one script on it. This script is here, and it is very simple. All it does is move the player. Um, it's set up with a serialized tool tip. Uh, for the uh, inspector to put a speed of whatever you'd like. Um, of course, here is the code that will move the player um, according to our horizontal and our vertical axes. Um, the input gets multiplied by itself and equals speed, transforms that position, of course, turns into movement on the screen. Um, now, uh, to make sure that this work is working properly for you, if you're caught following what I'm doing here, um, go to edit, go to project settings, and go to input. Input is, will automatically say horizontal here and vertical here. Um, as long as your code says horizontal and vertical here, and of course it is uh, very sensitive, you must have the proper caps, proper everything. Um, and it will know which way to move depending on what you have here, left and right buttons, and up and down. Of course, uh, getting back to the nav mesh, um, enemy. Now, the enemy is going to be your nav mesh agent. Uh, that will, of course, is what we've been talking about in class for the last week. Um, the nav mesh agent uh, is an agent based, and um, it will uh, it will stick to the nav the nav mesh, which is your floor here, and it will not leave that area at all. Um, I also have an enemy behavior script on here. And that is basically, it's a little more complicated uh, because we have to teach it to follow the player, which is, of course, the heart of our uh, artificial intelligence here. Um, I have a variable, which is the player. Um, I got another one, which is going to be the nav mesh agent, and the desired velocity, which is your vector three, of course. Now, when you awake, you want to pull the nav mesh agent, get component right here. Um, and in update, first you tell the target, you tell it what the target is, of course, it is player. Um, the nav mesh agent here is set destination, which will ultimately follow the player. And this is the desired velocity to chase the player. Um, now, all of this is, of course, adjustable in this area here. Uh, you can change the size of the agent. You can change the speed of how it moves, the speed, the general speed, uh, its angular speed. I, of course, I do recommend not making the speed any higher than the player should at least be a 0.5 or less. 
uh, line right now is 0.4 or 4, I believe. Yes, there it is. Um, so going back to here, um, got angular speed of movement, acceleration, stopping distance, um, and auto braking. Um, these are kind of self-explanatory here. Um, if you change this number, the um, enemy will stop um, a certain amount of meters away from the target. Um, and uh, this here is, uh, of course, as we've been talking about, um, we uh, must, um, you know, we've got a high quality obstacle avoidance. Uh, this might cause some issues possibly um, with, uh, you know, speed and resources being used. If you have to change it, just change it there. Um, of course, uh, the lower the quality, the less it's going to work, but the less resources that will be used. Um, and uh, now on to actually how the nav mesh agent or nav mesh works. Um, now, in enemy, of course, we got a nav mesh, we got a nav mesh agent, and we got enemy behavior. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this with the enemy not on here or here, as you can see. And when the, the play button is hit, of course, I can move. The blue is with my player. The enemy is in red, and wherever I go, it will chase me. It doesn't matter. And one important thing to note here is if I leave the area, it will stop. It cannot go any farther than where the navigation mesh has already been preset by the computer. Um, and, of course, that is important. And, but as you can see, it still does follow everywhere I go, but it will not leave the edge. Okay. Now we're just going to stop here. There. And now uh, next thing I want to go over is the off mesh links, which of course are these things that you may have seen I have not talked about yet. Um, but what these are are pretty much navigation off mesh links where the, you have a, uh, like an island here, here, and here. They are away from the main area where the player is and everything. So, um, of course, without these, the nav mesh agent could never come off of here. So, uh, just as a demonstration, I will take my enemy. And I will put my enemy up here and make sure it's halfway decent on there. So I'll go down a bit. And now, All right, right now I have my, my off mesh links off. Well, actually, well, let's not jump ahead yet. I made them myself. Um, let's turn this off. Um, now, I was set, I was able to set this up through here. This is the navigation. As you can see, generated off mention links, drop height, drop distance. Now, default is zero. Right now, I, I had it set before, but I bring it back to zero. And then bake. As you can see, my off mention links are gone. And if I hit play, my player, the guy tries to chase me, but he can't because there is no off mesh links. However, if I turn this off again and say I look at my my uh, at the height. The height is around 3.8, so let's go to four. Oops, do that. Um, let's go to let's make this four and this four, and of course you always have to hit big anytime you change. Hit big again, and now as you can see, my off mesh links are back. So once I hit play. Now, oh, as you can see, he goes right off of there and he chases me normally um, because it knows that it can jump from here to here with those off mention things set up. So um, one uh, one little glitch that I have noticed um, that sometimes the off mention links only go one way. The ones that are automatically made oops, automatically made by that mesh in Unity, um, but. Uh, Here's a demonstration of that. I'm going to take my enemy and put him down here. A little closer. Let's not put him over. Do keep it to the other side. Go like that. All right, that way. Okay. Now, um, as you can see, these arrows here only go down. So, if I hit play, even though my nav mesh agent is set up and everything's set up, it will not come to me because it cannot. 
there's not a little head there. Um, so what I'm going to do to fix that is I've already created these. These are called off mesh links that you can make yourself. Um, they're custom, of course. Um, now, when I turn these on, as you can see, this came here. I, this is already set up, and so is this one, um, like that. So. There you go. All right, as you can see, now I have arrows going from here to here and here to here. Now, if I hit play, him down there, he now continues after me because now there is official links that have been made manually. All right, now the way to make these is very easy. Um, uh, here, I'll make a new one just to see, see show, show what I'm doing here. Um, but all you're doing is going to go create. You're going to go to, oops, that's not what I want to do. You want to create an empty object, not a camera. Create an empty object and call it off mesh link. Okay, and um, as a child, you want to create. Does it keep happening? As a child, you want to make another one, and this is going to be jump link, and then you're going to make another one. And this is going to be and now. Um, now on your jump link, you're going to want to add a nav mesh, an off mesh link like that. Um, and as you can see, you have start and you have end. None. Of course, you need something there, so you're going to put the start and jump, and you're going to put the end on end. Um, and now it will work. However, you have to still set it up in the game. You have to put it in the world the proper way. Um, here it is right here. Click on your end and go up like this, as you can see. Here. As you can see, there's right there you have a circle there. That's when you know you're in good shape. If it's not there, then it won't put it. You're kind of inside the object and it's going to cause problems. Um, so, so um, there's your uh, the end link right here. Now, um, so you wanted to bring it over here. As you can see, the arrow follows just like the other one, and it gives yourself another one here. Jump link. And you're going to want to move this. Uh, of course, since that's a parent of it, you're going to want to move the parent first because it's going to affect it. Um, and go back to end. And we're going to go here and... And now, as you can see, this one I just made. I'll turn off these ones, turn that one off, and turn this one off. And the only one on right now is the one I just made. As you can see, it will, when I hit play, that will jump, and it will follow the off mesh link. No, um, the one that I manually made. Um, now, this is uh, relatively easy. This is all built in right into Unity. Um, I think it's relatively new, too, uh, from what I was told by one of my last instructors. Um, but a uh, very useful tool, as you can see. It does, um, I mean, I can make hundreds of these things. And, it, you know, the, uh, the character will always chase me, always follow me. And, um, of course, I can make a spawn point here and here or wherever I'd like, and it will not get stuck. It will still stay where it needs to go. Uh, the reason I, the reason why I made several of these is just in case you're going to make it so that there's, there's several enemies coming after you at once. Um, if there's only one, it's going to actually, the enemy will come and jump up, and then the other ones will have to wait for the other ones to go before it can go, uh, because it's only one path. Um, so that's uh, the reason I did that there. Um, but as you can see, it's relatively simple. Um, just got some code here that moves the player when you move the arrows back and forth. Uh, you have a code that will uh, wake up, um, find, then look for and uh, look for a nav, nav mesh agent. Um, it will target it, as you see the player. It'll still chase it, as you can see with here. And then the desired velocity is how fast it moves and everything, which is of course adjustable within the nav mesh agent uh, over here. 
Um, so, uh, and uh, basically, that's it. Um, now, there, you can go deeper into nav mesh. There's a lot more to it. Um, there's different. Uh, just there's a more complicated off mesh links that you can make yourself. Um, ones that uh, that require much more effort and code, but they're more structured and they uh, they work pretty well. Um, but that's uh, a little a little too in depth for what I'm trying to tell right now. Um, but uh, that's uh, pretty much it. Um, the uh, as far as um, relating to what we've been talking about this this whole um, this whole week, uh, main thing is, is that it already knows where 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 it can go. It already knows. It's here and here. Um, that makes less resources needed to, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about what's going on out here or anything like that. It's only going to be, this is your path. That's the navigation. Um, and uh, it's pretty smart, too. I mean, even if I put, like, a, say I add a, uh, say I add another piece of the world geometry, um, say I add a 3D object, which is going to be, a, say, a cube, um, bring this up over here. Let's make this a bit more to scale. Better here, and so we do that. So we put a big, big ugly object right in the center there. Um, we make this static, of course. Again, just like we do with the world geometry, you have to make everything static if you want to have nav mesh agent involved. Uh, you hit bake, it's doing its thing. And now, as you can see, what I just did, it put an animation agent on it, um, and it also put a, um, it also gave many, many uh, of its own off, off mesh links. Uh, so just in case, you know, I can make it up there somehow, my player, my enemy can still chase me. Um, so let's go to the player. He's stuck in the middle of this block, so let's move him out of the way. Actually, let's move him over here. Um, and then we're going to see here how the... How this works. This works. Uh, how it can uh, goes around, and even if I'm on the other side of the block, it's still going to come after me. It's going to go around the block. It's always going to chase me. Doesn't matter if there's an instruction or not. Um, here, maybe we should uh, actually make this a rigid bar. Actually, yeah. Well, I can go through it. The uh, and of course, uh, he can't. The enemy can't because he uh, he only has down. So uh, if I made off measurement, made just up. Um, it's actually pretty interesting. I'm not. Even, I wonder if that would work. Um, uh, all right, well, um, anyway, um, as you can see, it the. Uh, one more time, the, the enemy will chase, but since the, he can't get up here and there's no nav mesh agent, he will not. He will always go around it, always, but he will still chase me down. Uh, so it's pretty, it's pretty smart. Uh, it works well, and um, it's a really easy way to implement a good, uh, you know, navigation. This is just scratching the surface. I'm sure there's a million other things you can do with this as well. Um, and as, as you can see, I. Right here. One last thing I want to show you here is uh, when you're moving away from the player, of course, it ch the enemy chases you and it will actually get on top of you and like kind of disappear inside you. Um, what you can do to fix that is go to uh, enemy uh, and then you're going to want to go to stopping distance. Uh, now, say I want to stop uh, four feet in front of me or four meters, um, enter. Um, and it'll stop, as you say. Uh, it doesn't continue into me like it did before. It's not. Now, if it had a weapon or something, it could be attacking me at this time. Um, but, of course, this is just to show the that mesh agents how, how it works. Um, and uh, that's uh, pretty much it. And uh, that'll be uh, the end. And uh, I hope this was informative. And I hope I uh, touched on all the subjects I should have. Uh, thank you.